It's actually as simple as this. You sell four couches for a $250 profit each and you're solid. Always assume your couch will sell for your bottom estimate. For example, I often buy couches for $300, so I might assume the bare minimum I'd make for a couch is $600. That price, in my area, sells immediately, basically 24 to 48 hours. That's a $300 profit, but I can take as low as $550 and as high as $800. If you ever go over your target, of course you've made even more money. For example, last week I got an extra $100 out of a couch and ended up making $1,100 in profit. Now I could double my income to $2,000 a week, no problem. However, I am just one guy and can't pick up two deals in different cities at the same time. That's a topic for another day when I hire on some help. Anyway, I try to find sectional sofas because that's what's in demand right now. We spent a full month flipping free used regular sofas and would max out at around $150 profit per couch. With sectionals, they're worth way more brand new. Therefore, their resale value is much, much higher. They're also extremely convenient because you only have to get one couch, one sectional couch to fill up an entire living room instead of maybe a small sofa, a love seat, and an accent chair. Sectionals is exclusively what we deal with now. I used to pick up a couch a day and still make less. Now I pick up three to five deals a week and almost always hit my target. Two weeks ago, I made about $1,500 in profit, so it's up to you and how good your week is. Anyway, I buy dirty sectionals with surface stains that my wife can easily get out. Maybe even rips that I can quickly sew. You're going to have to build a couple skill sets here, but they're not huge. Getting stains and dirt out of couches, sewing small holes, and maybe renailing down some of the uh, feet, some of the supporting feet underneath the couch. Some basic repairs that you can really do, anybody can do. Now I'm gonna tell you what my top selling products are based on their color alone. Light gray is by far number one. Number two is gonna be light beige, then dark gray, next in popularity is brown, and then last is white. People don't like blue, red, orange, any of the weird colors. It's going to be, your, your buyer pool is going to be much smaller. Let's just say that. So when I buy a $300 light gray sectional in decent condition, I am almost 100% guaranteed to double my money in only a couple days. Oftentimes, I get even more for those specific pieces. Now, I want to take a moment to give you a shout out from today's sponsor to make you even more money in a different way. Thank you to EmpireDigest.com. They help regular people build and grow thriving online businesses so they can live their best life possible. They are part of an elite community of highly successful internet entrepreneurs on a mission to help regular everyday people break free from mediocrity and create the best life possible. Sounds similar to this channel. They're doing this by helping you start and grow highly successful location independent online businesses that provide unlimited income potential and time freedom and the ability to turn your dreams into reality faster than anything else that you've tried. Take advantage right now by clicking the first link in my description. Now, I also can spend time picking up less couches by supplementing some of my profits with delivery fees. Usually, I'll make $50 per item I deliver on top of my profit, and that happens actually two to three times a week. When you offer delivery, you not only make an extra $50 per deal, but it opens your couch up to all the buyers without trucks. With a bigger buyer pool, you can charge more for your couches and sell them quicker, basically making you way more money. So offering delivery, if you can do it, is a great way to make an extra $100 to $150 per week while still selling your couches for more. So that's delivering two or three deals at $100 to $150 per week total, and that's $400 to $600 extra per month in delivery fees alone. Now let's talk about actually getting your couches in front of the right people because you can't just post a couple photos and list it on Marketplace. You can, but you're not gonna get as much. Your buyer pool will be smaller and less quality, and here's how to get the most attention in front of the right people. Now, you want to make sure, of course, you're getting the right attention on your listings. Take 10 super clear photos plus one video that Facebook now supports on their marketplace listings. You want to make sure you write a good description that does not at all sound salesy. You want to be honest and nice. Make sure you always measure and add the dimensions to your couches as well as fill up the tags box in the additional options tab. 
Here, you get up to 20 tags and you put things like sectional, sectional couch, sectional sofa, sofa, couch, stuff like that. But I want to tell you the most important little secret and the number one mistake I see a lot of resellers make, and that is not taking advantage and joining local buy selling groups. What I mean by that is basically every city on planet Earth has a Facebook group dedicated for the locals to buy and sell their local stuff. And this is a great place for you to advertise. Every single time I list an item, I post it in every local buy slash sell group I have near me, which adds up to nine total groups every time I post any of my listings. And the combined user base of these nine groups is about 50,000 people in my greater area. So as you can see, not only are people going to be searching for your product on Marketplace, but you're going to be advertising it in front of tens of thousands of people every second with no extra effort. When you list it, it gives you the option to list it in more places, so just check all the boxes and it's no extra work with a ton, a ton of extra customers. Be prepared to become known in your community. I now take specific orders, requests, and have a list every week of people I send my new inventory to before it even hits the market. Your business will get easier and easier and people will want to work with you more and more if you do things the right way. Now, a big, big deal that will make you loved or hated in your local community building this business is honesty. Be honest in your photos, descriptions, and your intentions. In the beginning, if someone asked me if I was going to use it in my house, I would say no. In fact, I plan on restoring the couch to like new condition and selling it well below market value. It's a win-win. For whatever reason, I don't know if most people on Marketplace aren't honest or have an agenda or whatever, but I'm just trying to sell good couches for a good profit to a community. And half the time, I get handed a ton of extra free stuff just for being nice and explaining to people my business model. For example, I picked up a couch a couple weeks ago, and uh, the guy was asking me, oh, is, you know, first couch, is it going to be, you know, blah, 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 asking a bunch of questions. And I basically just explained to him my whole business model, what I do, how it works, how much I make, how much I'm going to make on this, and just being completely honest. And he was so impressed that he basically gave me his whole, not basically, he did give me his whole back patio for free. And that was an extra $100 that I wouldn't have made if I wasn't just straight up honest and a nice guy. So as long as you do it right, your community will begin to actually like you as a reseller because you're taking couches most people don't want. You're fixing the pilling. The, you're sewing up the holes, you're wiping off the stains, and reselling these couches in like new condition for 80% cheaper than their brand new value. It's actually a really great thing that you're doing for your community that I didn't realize was actually a major need for most folks, especially in this economy. You'll catch me personally dead before spending $3,200 on a Cindy Croffle sectional. But I sell them for $600 every week. I consistently double my money, grow my business, make people happy, and I'm serving a great, high-quality product to my community every single week. If you can replicate this way of doing things, you will easily build up popularity in your community while providing a great personalized service and literally making as much money as you want. Your main issue in this business will be what I've ran into, and that is hitting a physical wall of not being able to pick up two couches in two different places at once. Like I said, it's time for some help. So let's talk about your first week goals. Your first week goal should just be buy a couch and sell for any profit, even if it's 20 bucks. Just make some profit and repeat as many times as you can. The second week, you should learn from your mistakes from week one and shoot for a target of a $100 profit deal. And then buy another couch and make another $100. So week two, you should do this three times and try to make $300, $100 a piece. On the third week, you should really start focusing on the big profits. Be patient and find a deal you can make your first two to $300 profit in just one couch. So you're really stepping up the game. And on the fourth week, learn from your mistakes and try to do it again. Try on the second week to get another two to $300 profit deal. Now, let's talk about month two. Deploy your local market research and try to hit a consistent three to $500 per week for a whole month. And then on month three, apply what you've learned in the first 60 days, then hold yourself to the 1,000 a week mark like I do every single week. And hey, maybe you don't need $1,000 a week. I mean, after all, that is literally $50,000 a year in furniture revenue. Uh, maybe you just need a few extra $100 a month. 
Well, be patient and wait for the right deal and you'll have an infinite money glitch you can tap into anytime you want, just like I do. I know I can take a week off and it doesn't matter because if I work extra hard next week, it's gonna be just fine. You'll make friends, meet great people, and everyone leaves the transaction completely and 100% happy and satisfied. Lastly, I will say my average profit is actually $350. My highest profit on one deal was actually $600, and I've done that a couple times. Happy building a business that lets you live a free and comfortable life like myself.